Alrighty then, guys. Man, back again. It's Gordon Nias. That's right. You see it at the bottom of your screen. Hey, man. <laughs> Holy cow, man. Uh, lots of stuff happened last episode, man. Lots of stuff. Uh, I I feel like it's too much to even to even go through, man. Like everything is happening all at once, and that's that's typical of these kinds of games it's like the the end just the, just just bottoms out you know what i mean of course you know me i gotta try to go back i can't i can't go back oh well well guys listen man if you're enjoying my playthrough of the quarry y'all know what to do it's right there on your screen hit it for me one time i promise you won't be disappointed I do really good with this. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Get your head in the game, man. Yet? Not yet. Keep looking. What, sir, what are you what are you looking at? This it's not gonna be inside the car. <laughs> Come on, bro. Well, you gotta stay focused, man. Oh my god. You, you already know what's gonna happen, y'all. You you know what's gonna happen. It's 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 got werewolf written all over it, man. It it just does. Somebody gonna pop out. Promise you. It, it's it's just a matter of time. A matter of time. Okay, all right, ain't nothing over there. Mm -mm. If there was ever a time that, that we're giving ourselves away, this would be it. Any of these vehicles here? No? No? I didn't come this way the last time, so. Oh man, all these cricketing, cricky noises. It's not good for you, not good for, for, for my psyche, man. I hope you guys are doing great, man. I really do. I mean that every time I say it on my channel too, man. It's 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 tough out here, man. It's gas prices being what it is. You know, work. I'm trying to find work. Oh. Okay, there is. Okay. Let me look around here before I go to any of those. Okay. All right. I'm trying to explore everything, guys. That's what I do. I'm gonna look everywhere that I possibly can. What do we have here? What what is that on the table? I, I can't get a lock. What is this? It's like a what is that? Okay, before I mash that, let me let me look around a little bit more. That might that might actually do something. Well, there's nothing in here. What about over here? Anything? Nothing at all, huh? Just a rim. They got a rim on the chain. They usually use those for engines. I want to go upstairs first. I'm going to mash it. I promise. I got to go up here first. I got to see what's happening up here. Okay. What do we have here? August. Full moon. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Yeah. You, you just not figuring that out, man. Dylan. Dylan. Let's find out what this is. It's like an invoice. Scrap, scrap note yard. Uh, this scrawled request to keep something off the books is a little doggy to say the least. There must be something here they don't want anyone to know about. That's keep this off Who's the books. Mm -hmm. Trevor, Travis, Looks whatever like his name is. Cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it. I'm gonna go back so I can pick it up, uh, so we can try to read it. All right, 
SUV body damage. Keep this off the books and out of the way. Hmm. I guess the SUV ran into something or someone. It's a muffler. There's some uh, some shocks, some springs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mash this button. I'm guessing it's going to open that door. That's my guess. Oh, open the gate, rather. That's my guess as, what, as to what's going to happen. All right. By chance. <sighs> How are we gonna end up in a documentary? No. Shut up, Clint. Let's go. Yeah, cause Caitlin's a good shot. Or I'm a good shot. Depends on how you look at it. Alright. So we've looked everywhere else. Man, we we we've we've cleared we man the the, the base and that mm. Okay, can we go this way? Absolutely can. Knowing to say it the way I do things. I am not a right go right person. I'm a go left person. Uh, but that that looks ominous down there. Could also go straight. Decisions, decisions, y'all. Decisions, decisions. Uh I'm gonna go to road least traffic. We'll go over here to the right. In the dark. Where I can't see anything. And perhaps meet Dilla's doom. Or not. I don't know. Oof, boy, that that right there gets you every time. What's back here? Ooh. Now where would this lead? See what I'm afraid is gonna happen is that I'm going to accidentally find the find the park <laughs> and uh no I don't want to try to open that yet yeah I'd be I'd be the one to accidentally find the park and then, and then miss miss out on everything you know there is a car on a lift out there okay I'm paying attention I'm watching I'm watching stay with me Caitlin because I don't know I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's too quiet, bro. <laughs> it's too quiet. Okay, all right, all right. I'm trying to keep my bearings here. What's back there? This is a big junkyard, man. We're not getting any any lights on anything here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go back here. Holy cow, man! This place is huge. I'm thinking, you know, maybe there's a card or something out here. Maybe I can't get back. Nope. Get back there. All right, let me put a little speed on my steps here. I, uh, so clearly there's nothing out here. Nope. Nothing out here. Just walk a little faster. Now we can obviously go up there, which I'm not going to do yet. Uh, here's around the, the right side of the area. It's oil spills. I used to love seeing those things when I was a kid, man. Uh, like after it rained. You know what I mean? Just those, those oil spills and the rainbows, like in the street. Did you guys ever see that? You ever pay attention to that? Is that just me? It could just be me. All right, what's back? Anything? I'm checking everywhere. Now this would this would could be an obvious car where that control arm would be. There's literally nothing back here. You guys should have given me an achievement just for exploring this doggone uh, junkyard. We are walking fast, though. I know probably everything will jump off when we start going up the stairs and stuff. Um, I'm just trying to explore this entire area first. 
What exactly is that? Right here. What is that? On here. Just this. Clue discovered. Discarded signage. A torn and broken, the torn and broken remains of an old sideshow att attractions, uh, the way they're intertwined with the rest of the scrap shows they've been sitting here for a long time. What's this? Aram Scarum. See this, Caitlin? She cares. Can you blame her? Eliza. I saw that on there. Alright. Anything out here? Other than these lights lighting up the entire world. Um, let me see. Let me see something. Let's go up here. I think this this is um This is the other way. Okay. I feel like I need to go back, man. Hold on. Well, there is a uh, there is a set of stairs going down. Okay. And she's up here. There we go. I knew I found one somewhere. All right. Judgment day is upon us. What'd you expect from this card? It's what that's what you expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case, it's simpler than that. Perhaps one of one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision, tipping the balance one way or the other, take your time, think, and maybe survive. Okay. That might have been it, um, but I just, I'm, I'm going to cover the entire junkyard just to be sure um, that there aren't any more clues or collectibles or anything like that and we can go down through there let's do that there's no other way to go I know guys I'm not trying to make this whole episode about exploring the junkyard but I mean hey I told you I'm gonna give you the full game that's what I mean there's a battery it's on the ground okay all right, so we've come back full circle now. Okay, well, except for down here. We hadn't gone down through here. Oh. Ah! Sorry, that was scary. What kind of scream was that, sir? That's so <laughs> we are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. <laughs> Both are bad. I don't. I don't think he. I don't think he fully appreciates the gravity of of the situation. It, maybe it's me, but yeah, I just. I just feel like he. He doesn't appreciate the full gravity of what's going on. All right, so we've explored the entire graveyard. Graveyards. Woo! I hope that's not foreshadowing by mistake. Uh, <laughs> we've explored the entire junkyard, so we're gonna make our way back. Over here, because clearly that's the way to go right there. The car park must be inside the car that's on the crane, so we got to lower it down. This is my assumption, because we've looked everywhere else. So let's go ahead and make our way up here. Or try to. Look. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, nope, uh-uh. Uh oh I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? I mean, that, the, the SUV kind of looks uh, encouraging. Watch my back, gonna have the gun. 
No, let's go with encouraging. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, the SUV looks looks pretty much intact. Like, if you lowered it down, you might be able to drive it. As is, lights are on, on it, in it, right? Did I see that? All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Dads could do that, too. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. Now, just make sure you lower it, not drop it, okay? Kayla, you might want to move. Uh... You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! You can get out of the crane now. Then what are you doing? Come on, bro. Oh. Warn, warn her. What do you mean lift the car? Close the door! Lock! I'm ready, boy! Woo! You missed! <laughs> oh, oh, God! How, bro? Dylan, get the damn werewolf on the damn car! Can we shoot him? Hurry the fuck up! Slam car, sound horn! Oh, God! What do we do? Oh, I'm gonna slam the car! I'm gonna slam it! Hang on, Caitlin! It's gonna be a bumpy ride! Hang on! We're gonna get him off! Oh no! She fell off! On some tires? Where's the gun? Oh! This could not have happened! Drop the truck! Drop the truck! Drop the thing, man! Drop it! Go, 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 Where is the gun, man? Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? What? To play me in the movie about man. how brave I am. <laughs> Don't push it. Right. Doing the most, man. Oh, she got the gun. Okay. So, Still need the car park. So much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. I mean, what, what else can you do? Path chosen. Hope a good one. I feel like I made all the right choices. I hope. All 
All right, it's 2.45 in the morning, the Hackett family house. Oh, man, this is where a whole bunch of stuff is happening. Oh, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel yeah. better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. It was a little Did weird. You smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Yeah, but you sure. kind of don't have a choice now. Another way out. Fine. Now the thing that what is that down there? Who? What is that? Whatever it is, it's moving. I'm not going down there. Not yet, anyway. Let's let me see if I can look around before before doing all that. What do we have here? Ooh. Huh? Huh? What's that? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should have taken some of those with us. Maybe you think? I, I, I don't know. Could be just me. But there's definitely something or someone. Ma'am. Watch your step. Yep. No, he's not moving. You doing all the walking? I can't. I can't go over there. Don't go it. Who? 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 Or what is? I can't see anything. When I tell you it's pitch black, I can't see nothing. I really didn't want to go. I'm trying to look. Oh my goodness, bro. Like. What was that? I think. What do you think? Why is it chained up? I think we found Chris Hackett. Um, yeah, what the? Okay, I'm ready. Well, at least as ready as I can be. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, everybody fell. Lord, how many floors did y'all fall down? Oh, man, this ain't good.
Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? This is over. This isn't over. Great. Uh, I, we didn't I choose a path. What? Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Son of a biscuit. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed. Her brother. What? Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. Been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, buddy, go! At the, At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Yeah. He must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Oh. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. I mean, <clears throat> in what world would I help you, Suspicious? Why should I trust you? Mm, let's go with Suspicious. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay. So, where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This right. doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. That's fair. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? I, you know, I was actually thinking that. I just didn't say it. <laughs> but I was thinking that. And she burst out of hers. Had your chance. You what? had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. How? Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? Mm. Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. <laughs> I'm sorry, why was that so funny? The sun. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again.
judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned. A fate deserved. Likely. But he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Uh, my answer is going to be no, <clears throat> again. Um, but I'm beginning to suspect that she is this boy's mom, Silas. So why wouldn't she want us to kill that family? Because that family has been been trying to kill him. So this is just that's just my theory. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. No. No. Okay. If that's what you want. It is what I want. Now go take a nap. One last time. Go back. Go back and end this. Yeah, I'm going to end it my way, though. Bricks and mortar. Max? Oh, oh, so he killed Chris. So, so he back. Okay, good. Oh! What the, what the fuck? Why am I He's doing like... a fucking dream? <laughs> That would trip me out too if I just woke up in the on the top of a tree. I would trip out too. I can't front. How the hell am I gonna get down? Ah! Poor thing. Walk it off, man. Walk it off. Walk it off. Excellent question, sir. Oh, yeah. Where the hell are my clothes? You, you bust out of them, sir. But I guess you wouldn't remember that part. You gotta be kidding me. Gotta go with what you got. Okay, so Max is alive. That's good. Okay. Gotta find Laura. <laughs> I guess you had to wear what you can find, man. Ah, too funny, bro. I don't guess we can go back up, can we? If I wanted to look around a bit more. Oh, can I go back here? Well, what do you know? I actually can. That uh, This unfortunately looks serene in a terrifying situation. So I, I don't know. I don't know. This is what I get, man. I'm, I'm constantly wanting to explore stuff. All the time. It's just me, man. I mean, this... If, if it wasn't... If it wasn't for all the werewolves, man, this would be a beautiful, this would be a beautiful place to camp, man. Okay, there's, there's, there's the other end over there. Uh, we get off this island, but yeah, it's beautiful, man. It really is. All right, Max. Let's head on, man. So they could have put a card out there or a clue, anything. But I digress. I do see something right there. The little string, string glint, or whatever you want to call this thing. Let's see what's happening here. It's a campfire. Once upon a time. Oh, matches. Told we should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah. Now we know why the sheriff wanted us to go there. Like, you could have avoided all of this if you'd have listened. But no. Typical teenagers. Okay, okay. I don't see any alternate routes anywhere. 
kind of forced to walk this way. So let me, let me, I guess I'm trying to figure out, well, if, if Chris was taken out, does that mean that all the werewolves here have changed back that are still alive? Uh, I, was he the, like the, the father of them all or, or what? She did. She came back for you. Well, now your outfit's complete, man. All right. I was just thinking in my mind, would it make sense for me to walk back up? Um to where he once was but the, the game took over so I guess I can't do that gotta swim man now, isn't that car parked down in that water stay swim to shore why would we stay that doesn't make any sense let's swim to shore <laughs> Just, I guess I didn't see the logic in why he would stay. That, that didn't make any sense. I hear something clicking. What is that noise? You've got to be joking! Man, what? Max, I'm so sorry, bro! This game is... And I kind of feel like either way, if he'd have stayed or, or, or left, I think the same thing would have happened to him. I really do. Which which absolutely sucks, man. Like, it didn't make any sense for him to stay on the island. I mean, maybe it did. I don't know, man. I, I feel like his fate would have been the same, even if he'd have stayed. I, I don't think there was no getting around that. I think the game is just trying to tie up loose ends, honestly. Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. It gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And or at least on a boat. Thermia? No. No, be on a boat, sir. All right, well, not... <sighs> we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. And they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. All right. More exploration. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll start behind us. Um. Let's see if there's anything in here. It's old. Are those wooden? Blinds? I don't know. What do we have here? Whose purse is that? Handbag. What do y'all call them these days? Uh, let's see. Yes. <laughs> I just have to laugh, man, because uh, uh, now growing up, you know, my mom, you know, she had what she called hers a pocketbook. And I made the mistake of calling, uh, <laughs> I called up my wife's uh, bag of pocketbook. Boy, I got corrected real quick. Like, uh, no, this is a purse. I don't know. I don't know these things, y'all. I don't know these things. Okay, can't go that way. Uh, let's go in here. The, the way it panned, I thought it was going to give me another card. I thought. I can't... The, the, the walking sometimes is a, is a little wonky, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, 
Man, it is so dark. And I can't fully tell, like the camera angle. Okay, so I can't go that way. Can I go this? Nope. Can't go that way. Nope. Nope. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to explore this area, but I, I can't. Oh, here we go. What do we have here? Yeah, let's close that. What's not okay? Lock it. Better. Good job. Now, question is, is that going to really make a difference in the long run? I don't know. I will say, I think for me at this point, um, if I had to pick a favorite character, uh, Caitlyn would probably be it. Um, I, I feel like she she has the most no nonsense attitude. Uh, not not saying that's that's the best attitude to have, but I think under the circumstances, um, she she's kept she's kept a level head more than anybody. I think, um, just my opinion. Uh, everyone else has kind of, you know, had their moments. Okay, I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to just explore a bit here, guys. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. So walk around here. Are there any clues of any kind, of any some such? I will find it. Oh, I thought that was a glint. That's a face or something. Uh, is there anything back here? If it is, ooh. What is that? Is that a meat? No, that's some tongs. So is that a meat tenderizer? Okay, nothing here. <clears throat> the other way you look, what, what are you doing, man? You, you're walking around aimlessly. At least I'm walking with purpose. Alright, nothing around here. Nothing around here. Nothing here. I'm gonna walk down there, and then after this, I think I would have covered everything. Well, I gotta go down there. Can't interact with that at all. Should get that shotgun ready. So, what do you guys think about these kinds of games, man? Is this is this something that you uh, that you particularly enjoy playing? Do you enjoy more so watching? You know, do you have a preference when it comes to these types of horror games? Uh, I think for me. Uh, this particular stop now why can't I go this way is there something blocked it must be I can't see anything um, this particular style of horror game uh, is preferable to me this is just some this is style I just particularly like um, and I would say uh, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is probably uh, those two are are the perfect type of horror games for me. Dylan, man, if you don't walk on, bro. Yeah, I just, those those are the ideal type of horror games that I like to play. All right. I don't know where we're going. I'm just walking around. Oh, there's another, whole nother floor up there. All right, let's go in here. See if there's anything in here. Oh, there's something on the floor here. What's it say? Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Camp letter. Uh, let's see. Chris Hackett is asking campers' parents for additional donations to help with large renovation costs. Uh, isn't that what camp fees are for? What else would that money? Where else would that money be going? I don't know. I'd actually like to read that. Let's show the text. All right, dear parents and guardians, when my mother and father found founded Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp in 1953, their vision was to create a space where children from across the nation can experience the true wonders of nature, and I'm proud to continue their legacy to this day. The camp's lodge has stood proud since we first opened our gates of legacy, and indeed, the lodge itself is now at risk. Having sought advice from a structural engineer, it appears crucial repair work is required on the masonry of the chimney column. Don't worry, your children are not in danger, but I must inform you that as of next year, we will be increasing camp fees by 5% per attendee. Uh, when times get tough, I'm reminded of our camp model, what doesn't kill you, make you makes you stronger. I don't know if I would share that with kids though. 
Um, with this in mind, I hope that together we can make Hackett Scores stronger than ever. Thank you for your continued patronage. With your gratitude, Chris Hackett. Okay. Well, his, you know, it's like Travis said, he wasn't, uh, or Trevor, why can't I, why can't I ever get that name right? Uh, just something over there. Said that Chris wasn't a bad guy, man. And I mean, it doesn't sound like all, all arrows point to the fact that he wasn't a bad guy, but you know, you can't control, you know, the whole warehouse, werewolf thing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, dog tags. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Why would you just, why would you just throw him back on the ground? Can we actually look at him? I want to look at them if I can. Uh, Bobby. Bobby Hatchet. A positive. Socials on there. Uh, I guess phone number at the bottom. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I wonder how many people actually know what their uh, what their blood type is. Do you do you know what your blood type is? I, I know what mine is, I and I only know that uh, because when I joined the military, it was just a part of you know. Um, now I do know there's another set of stairs there, but I'm gonna go around here. Um, but yeah, I guess it was part of, you know, my enlistment. Did they know that? I mean, for obvious reasons. Well, maybe not so oh, obvious. this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. Large and overbearing. This re regal oil painting of Sip uh, Septimus Hackett holds pride in place on the largest chimney column. Okay. Creepy. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to... Have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> keep looking. Prepare for attack. No, we're going to keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. Now, where? Is... We can't go down there. But we can't. What is this? Hidden behind a photo frame, this ticket stub is an indication that Chris Hackett and his two kids attended a traveling show with Harum Scarum six years ago. Hmm. Huh. No, a absolutely not. We we have enough on our plates already. Stop discovering shit. Yeah, but we might find something that might be useful or helpful, man. You just you never know. You know what I mean? You just, you never, and plus the explorer in me, man, I can't help it. I just, I, I can't help it. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna not explore, man. Like that's, I, that will never happen. If there is a game that will allow for it, I'm gonna do it every time. Uh, so, I mean, not only does, do I enjoy it, but I think it's, you know, my, my thing is like, I've since I've started my channel, man, it's always been a really big deal to me uh, that to the best of my ability that uh, that I show the game it's in, in its entirety for all of you. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Chalkboard, dude. Hindsight. Sounds about right. A memorial to deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody got to meet him this year. Okay, I'm so that's right. what that's what Laura and uh, Max ran into. Mascot? Well, no, sheep. we did. You didn't hear? Hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Eh. Eh. <laughs> My wife and I we watched a show called uh, Curb, Your Enthusi Curb Your Enthusiasm with uh, Larry David. Man, that show is hilarious to me. Uh, I just, I, I don't know, man. I, I kind of... At first, I thought that Larry was like really cynical, like the dude uh, just didn't care about people, man. But it, it's it's not that, man. It's just Larry's just true to who he is. He's not going, 
he's not gonna bite his tongue for nobody. He's not gonna say he's not gonna say he likes something that he don't. You know, he he just he just who he is. You know, like Larry, this is a nice car. Ah. You don't think it's a nice car? Nah, it's, you know, no, it's a little too small. What? Like he just he, he just it's funny, man. It's funny. Anyway, all right, let me let me let me let me focus, man. What's what's up here? Anything? Uh, it's just so dark, man. You can, oh, look at there. See, that's why I explore, ladies and gentlemen. Eliza was killed in the fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago, okay? Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's Quarry ever since, and she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards, once lost in the blaze, have allowed her to guide you through the night, though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. Hmm. That may be. That very well may be. Can't go that way. Around here. I'm I'm thinking this is this is it as far as like exploration goes. I don't think there's anything. It's a big chest here. Um, I don't think there's anything else we have that we can explore. So we go back down and uh, we will go ahead and choose to prepare for attack. I think. I think we've done all we can do. Let's walk a little faster. It's Chris. No? Is that not that's not Chris? I don't know who that is. Right, so we're gonna go back to this spot. Cause I guess that's how we get things to move along. Okay, prepare for attack. How, how does one prepare for an attack, bro? Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Love meets for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hackateers. I don't think he knows the song. And he never learned the words. He did learn <laughs> I gotta gather that. He don't he don't know the words. Go. Oh, oh. What does that sound, Matt? Showtime, motherfuckers. Pretty much. I told you that's why I like Caitlyn, man. It's four in the morning. What the? Okay, I'm ready. Just as ready as I can be. It's coming. Wait. 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 We got a gun, man. We very well might be able to shoot this thing. Wait. That thing is tall. Woo! Little bit. Not enough. Shoot him again. What are you doing? I don't think that's gonna do much to keep it out. Just just my opinion. Can we last till till the sun comes up? Beam window. Oh crap! What do I do? Let's go with the beam! Let's go with the beam! Be a quick time if it gotta be. Gotta be. 
safe yet. See? I knew it! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, okay. We might have to do this again. Freezer. Run, freezer. Freezer! Right there. Sucks, bro. Are you kidding? Inquisitive, what exactly happened six years ago to Cusatory? How did you do it? I'm gonna go with Inquisitive. So what exactly happened six years ago? Why are her there eyes moving like that? That wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas, the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. That's pretty much it. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Are you kidding? Oh, don't get your head. Ooh. I was not expecting. 
expecting that. What is happening? Did this trucker fall asleep at the wheel? We gotta take the wheel, man. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! Oh, oh, no, 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 Yeah, because it wouldn't have made any sense to, I mean, when it could have, oh my goodness. Grab the handbrake! Woo! Go! Now what? You gonna tear the car up! Where's Ryan? Where did he go? The shadow just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. How did Ryan just disappear out the car? Are you crazy? How? I'm I'm still okay. He's in the back. Okay, I'm gonna say what in the world? Are we there yet? And why is the sheriff trying to chase this okay. werewolf, bro? Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. It sure is. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? It's, it's not going to change anything. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Uh, let's go determined here. Let's fucking do this. Go team. <laughs> With what though? Ryan doesn't have any any anything. It all makes sense now. You've got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't, I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. Man, give to Ryan, take the vial. You, I knew you was gonna make me make this choice, man. Um, I'll take the vial. Thanks. That means a lot. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. No worries. I guess. Oh, pungent. Podcast didn't do justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother, I think. 
Pretty sure. Let's go with probing. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. Get to the point, bro. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. <clears throat> Let's go with Reflective. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Mm. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Ryan? Why are you straying off, dude? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Okay. What? This thing is sleeping out of the Jesus woods. Christ. Itself in the cage. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Raise gun. I'm doing it. Shoot. I'm sorry, man. Gotta do it. No. 
What other choice do we have? Please, let's just... Let's just go before we... We have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. What do you mean? I know she went. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Happy days are here again, I guess. So wait, who's who's left alive? We got Ryan, uh, Laura, Caitlin. Who else is left? I don't even know. The sheriff? Maul to death by his werewolf brother. Yeah, that's sad. He also was, he was masked by the werewolf son, Chris. Chris Hackett deceased. Ryan shot it with silver. Constance. Jeez. Poor Jacob. I didn't refuse to help him. I thought he was safe in there. Kaylee gone. Abigail. So, so that was that one was probably the hardest uh, of them all, man. That was alive. Let's go. Nick is alive. Let's go. Oh, Max. Dang it. Sorry, brother. She froze it. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Wow, Kayla was alive. Because Travis is alive, of course. Ryan made it. Laura made it. Were, what, what was his, what, what other options did we have with him? You know? I mean, I guess we could have not shot him and just wait for the sun to come up, right? Well, that's my story. Well, guys, yet another wonderful game from Supermassive The Quarry. It it, it it was everything that I thought it would be. Um, I, I don't want to say it was a, it was a, another Until Dawn. It, it did have a lot of similarities to Until Dawn, uh, but this is my final review of the game. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know at the end of every game I play, I give my honest review. I have literally 
40 years of experience in gaming, so I think I've kind of earned the right to kind of give my personal review on games. So I'm going to give my, my spiel at first, and then I'll give you my final review at the end. So... Uh, as I said before, the game does have a lot of similarities to Until Dawn. It comes to the, the age of the characters, the backdrop scene, even the lodge, I believe, uh, was a direct reflection of the same lodge that they used in Until Dawn. Uh, I kind of feel like uh, the werewolves uh, are a direct reflection of uh you know the 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 enemies that were in uh, until dawn i can't remember what what they were called it started with the w i think uh but the 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 idea and the concept is pretty much the same um i will say that i really enjoyed the you know the storylines leading up uh to the to the finale um i will say one thing though i mean you guys you know you can comment below let me know your thoughts but i kind of feel like once we got uh to where um, Laura and Ryan uh, kind of infiltrated uh, the house, uh, you know, where uh, Travis was and the mom and the brother and all of that. That, that things kind of went so fast, uh, you did, you know, you didn't, you started losing pieces of the story with the speed in which how everything was happening. Uh, I would have liked to have gotten a little bit more. Um, out of this situation, so, so instead of just kind of thrusting everything at you at once at the, at the, at the very end. Um, I, but I digress, it is what it is. Um, I was unfortunate at not been able to keep everyone alive, which I mean, I, I'd imagine, you know, ultimately super massive, like that's, that's the idea, right? That, you know, your first playthrough, which for me, all of the gameplay that I do is blind, the chances of you saving everyone, especially in your first playthrough, is next to nothing no, you're not you're not gonna make all the right choices and that's the beauty of these games right the whole idea is so that you're put in a position to make what you feel is the best decision in in that moment some some uh some decisions you have to make you actually get you know time to decide others you have you have literally seconds to make a decision whether to do one thing or the other and i personally like when it comes to the horror game genre which i actually love playing and showing you guys on my channel like this style of horror genre is probably number two it kind of bounces between number two and number one um what, would, what what it probably rivals with is like Resident Evil 7 like that that whole atmosphere uh, that storyline in my opinion Resident Evil 7 was perfect it was better than, far better than 8 in my opinion I don't think Resident Evil 8 holds a candle to Resident Evil 7 and that's that's just Gordon Ias' opinion right um, a lot of things happening with the councils a lot of side stories which is common with this kind of game you know just trying to keep up with everyone and you know who likes who and you know who who doesn't like who and you know who's a leader who's making the right decisions you know what do we do kind of thing all of those elements were there uh and it was great and i really enjoyed the experience uh the graphics and a lot of these a lot of uh parts of this game were absolutely breathtaking like it you it were points where you literally felt like you were looking at a at, at a real I mean I know real people are the characters in this in this game but it almost looked movie like uh, aside from the graphics and the CGI it almost looked real um, so I have to give you know super massive credit there um, and you know just the the sheer graphic power of this game was was absolutely amazing um, I really did enjoy it. Uh, I do feel like there were some parts where it kind of drug along, was a, was a little slow. It did eventually pick things up again. Um, but all in all, it was a great game. It was a great experience. Uh, I may actually play it again at some point just to kind of, you know, change my answers, maybe do things a little different and see if something changes. Um, but my my honest overall rating, I rate all games between, you know, one being absolutely terrible to 10 being the best thing I've ever played in a long time. Uh, I'd have to give this one probably an eight uh, for the reasons that I stated before. Just, you know, kind of about the storyline. You have some moments where it's just kind of stagnant. Uh, you had, you know, near the end, it's like everything was happening like so, so, so fast. Um, yeah, those things could have, if, if we could have been just kind of mellowed out a little bit, um, I think would have, would have, would have created a better um, atmospheric experience. Uh, I get the need to, to, you know, to, you got to make decisions quick and things have to happen. And, you know, all, all that was great. I'm not, I'm not disputing that. I'm just disputing like at the end, 
you know, kind of giving a little bit more room uh, to the story instead of like immediately, you know, you, you get pulled up in the house and you, you accidentally, you know, you accidentally shoot the mom and then now you're fighting with everything else and now you're being chased and it, you know, it's like, I, I get, I get it. But I kind of would have wanted a little bit more dialogue there. You know what I mean? Maybe some dialogue between so between Laura and the mom. Uh, you know, while everybody's in the room, just kind of really open up. You know, the the box of what was going on. You know, in this atmosphere, and kind of get all of your questions answered in that moment. Um, that that would have been ideal for me, and probably would have pushed the game to a nine. But I feel like I just I feel like I just missed that. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway. All right, guys, I want to let the credits roll because so I do got to give credit to the people who had put all, put in all the hard work in creating this game uh, and this experience, you know, from the from the people to the cast, to the directors, to the animators, to the testers, to to everyone, the art, the artists, the graphical art, everyone that plays their part uh, in creating these experiences for us. I'm very adamant about ensuring that. They get the credit where the credit is due. Um, so I can tell you now, these credits are really, really long. You're more than welcome to sit through them if you like. If not, I totally understand. Uh, but this is just my way of giving back uh, to the people who create the games that I play and letting you guys know how much I appreciate you and thank you for continuing to give us uh, experiences, gamers, that not only we can enjoy, but we can share with others. So... That's it, guys. Uh, do me a favor if you haven't already and you'd like to consider giving Gordon Nice a sub, please do so. It should be on your screen right about now. Um, and uh, let you know, let me know how much you enjoy my content. Uh, drop a comment below. Let me know how you found me, what about my content you enjoy. Uh, I'd love to interact with you. I answer every single comment uh, that I get. Uh, I never leave, you know, you guys hanging. I'll do that for as long as I'm able. Um, You're gonna make me read so this. yeah, let's let's get to know one another. All right, guys, take it easy, and I will see you on the next game. You guys, stay safe. Give a letter that Later. Get wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right. I can but read I, I this. feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right. Okay. Here we go. Gammy. How long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah. There was something going on, something eating away at her, and that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now to me, empty implies that it was once full. Samesies. Blood stains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. 
Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Actually, you might be a little freaked out at this. Ugh. Is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait. Is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow. You're right. That is underwhelming. But I'm kind of interested because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate prank. True. But if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point, I guess. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you. You're... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No! So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we could speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um... Who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Thank you.